So for those of you who are wondering whether you can incorporate a Sono soundbar into your PC setup, the answer is going to be revealed today. So most of the soundbar requires an HDMI ARC connection and that applies to the Sonos Beam Gen 1 and the newly released Gen 2 as well as the Sonos Arc. For the older ones like the Playbase and the Playbar, they actually rely on an optical connection. So if you wanted to connect a Sonos soundbar to your PC with the optical connection, yes, you can do that. But for the Sonos Beam Gen 2, it comes packaged with this small little dongle here. And this is a, let me switch the angle. This particular dongle here is a optical digital output converter to a HDMI port. This is the female HDMI port where your HDMI cable will then go in and you can connect the other end to the Sonos Beam Gen 2. Now, this is not any old optical to HDMI converter because the Sonos Beam Gen 2 requires an ARC output. So this outputs the optical digital signal into an HDMI ARC, audio return channel, so that it will then plug in to your Sonos Beam Gen 2 to output digital 5.1 surround sound. So does it work with your PC? Let's find out today. But I'm not going to keep you in tether hooks and I'll tell you the answer right up front. Yes, it does work. The sound is glorious. Now note, through the optical, you are not going to be able to get Atmos sound. So the Sonos Beam Gen 2, while being Atmos compatible, Atmos capable, it, you're not going to get enough bandwidth out of the digital port here through optical to get full Dolby Atmos sound. Not even lossless, mind you. So it's just regular Dolby Digital 5.1 sound. But it does work. So for today, I'm going to connect it all up and I'll be downloading a game. I'm paying for a game. And just so that you can hear for yourself, just have a flavor of whether it works. In fact, I will tell you what I feel right after this. So let's get connected. So as you can see, I have the Sonos Beam Gen 2 which is hooked up to my PC now. My PC is actually outputting an optical digital output that gets converted to an HDMI ARC output that goes inside the Sonos Beam Gen 2. And this is how you can connect your Sonos Beam to your PC that will output sound. And mind you, the volume control still works. So I'm using the Logitech Craft here to control the volume using this DAO. For today, we are downloading this game, Horizon Zero Dawn, to play on the PC with the RTX 3060 card, outputting 5.1 digital surround sound to the Sonos Beam Gen 2. Let's get to it. And so I have connected it. Actually, it is so simple. There is no software adjustments to be made on your Windows PC. Any PC that you have bought within the last decade or even more would probably come with a digital optical output. And so you just connect that end and the other end connect it to your Sonos Beam. Windows recognizes it straight away. You select the correct sound output device, which is the digital output, and the sound comes out through your Sonos Beam. Now, even the volume control will work digitally. You do have two layers of volume control. You can also control one layer of volume through your Sonos Beam. So what I did was to set it to 50% and it will be loud enough if your PC outputs at about uh, any range of about 25 to 50%. So you do have quite a bit of headroom. And mind you, because you are sitting at you know, less than two feet from the beam. And if I were to show you, this is where the beam is. Uh, and this distance is less than two feet away. So it is going to sound plenty loud. And because I'm positioned with the wall behind me, the wall is, I can touch it, right? So the sound gets bounced around quite a bit and not in a bad way because the surround sound sounds very, very convincing. So all you need is the optical adapter, which is included with your Sonos Beam Gen 2, and the HDMI cable, which is also provided with the Sonos Beam Gen 2. 
Now, for those of you who are asking me, and a lot of you have asked the question, do you need a HDMI 2.1 cable? The answer is actually no. They have packed a HDMI 2.0 certified cable within the Sonos Beam Gen 2, and that will work plenty fine, whether you're connecting it to your TV or connecting it this way through your PC. But if you really need a new cable, and for those of you who are getting into 4K, 120Hz, or those of you who are getting into 8K resolution, and you need a HDMI 2.1 cable, this I have to recommend, all right? This cable here, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. It is a HDMI 2.1, version 2.1 cable from here, Ugreen. So the brand here is Ugreen. Uh, can I pull it out? Yeah, okay. So the brand here is Ugreen. This is a superbly well-constructed cable, um, capable of 4K, 120 hertz. I've tested it out with the PS5 connected to the LG CX TV. So it works plenty fine. The full bandwidth is available up to 48 Gbps. So that's 48 gigabits per second, right? And it supports here up to an 8K resolution. This cable is uh, aluminum alloy uh, case at the ends and a very solid, very thick, well-braided, well-constructed cable. This cable costs just a tad over $10. So if you're gonna buy a cable anyway, although you will not need HDMI 2.1 for most intents and purposes and for connecting up your Sonos Beam or Sonos Arc, I would say that for this price, you might as well get the HDMI 2.1 from Ugreen. So I will leave the link to purchase this. It's an Amazon affiliate link. Check it out in the video description below. And maybe I'll just put a QR code right about here. Okay, you can scan the QR code and you will be able to be directed to the exact link to buy this. It is available in a couple of um, length. I think there is a one meter, two meter and the three meter version. So I've got a couple of these and I have basically almost switched out all my cables at home to this Ugreen HDMI 2.1 8K capable supports 4K 120Hz. So variable refresh rate, anything that you want out of a HDMI cable, it is there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hijack this video with a cable like this, um, but I have to introduce this to all my viewers out there. It is an excellent cable. So if you need HDMI cable, remember this brand, and this is the model that supports 8K. Okay, so let's get back to gaming. And I've set up the camera here so that you can see exactly how it sounds like. I am not sure how I'm going to be doing the recording, but there is a very powerful gun mic that is attached to this camera right here. Let's hope that it will be able to capture something, although it's not going to be stereographic. And I am not recording using, you know, the hell with it. Maybe I will record using my binaural microphone setup so they can hear for yourself how great it sounds. Just a short one, so you won't hear a lot of dialogue, you won't hear a lot of video, and you will definitely not watch me game for three hours. I'll see you in my next video. This is a test binaural recording of the Sonos Beam Gen 2 playing through an optical output from the PC. So this is just Dolby Digital 5.1. Let's hear whether the surround is convincing or not. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with 10-point accuracy. Whether the soundscape sets the mood of a scene, Whoa, oh. or captures the full extent of nature's fury.
you're interested, this is it. Dolby Digital 5.1. Through the PC to the Sonos Beam Gen 2. Rust! Down here! Rust! Rust! This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said we never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. device I found can help. How do I get it open? A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Come girl, take my hand. 